good morning okay if i look a little exhausted it's because i just woke up i've started this new thing in the morning where i get up <laughs> god willing i get ready right away so i don't know why i didn't do I, I used to do this i stopped doing it but i started doing it again where i hop right in the shower brush my teeth hop right in the shower and get ready before i do anything even before i have coffee and for some reason it invigorates me it, may, it like motivates me it gets me to put a little pep in my step and start my day so i've showed you guys my makeup routine a few times but i wanted to um show you guys ow you really ripped out an extension. I wanted to show you guys how I curl, have been curling my hair recently because I've been getting a lot of requests to show it and it's super easy. And I don't think I've shown it before, but I, this is how I've been curling my hair for months. It's weird, I'll go through phases where I'll literally only curl my hair a certain way for a few months. Some products I'm loving for my hair, um, this Matrix. It's, they made this with Bellamy actually. So Bellamy is a brand of my hair extension. This Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray is magic in a bottle. You spray it on when your hair is wet, you blow dry it in, it's like heat activated and it makes your hair like waterproof, humidity proof. If you get frizzy hair in the summer, you need this. A few other products I've been loving for my hair oil, just a classic Kerastase hair oil. I don't necessarily think this is like life changing. It's just the hair oil that I have, so I'm trying to use it. This is my little hair routine. So you're supposed to use this every four washes. I use it every second wash. Every second wash, I will blow dry my hair. I'll spray this, saturate my hair, blow dry it. And then on the wash after that, because it's like freshly with this product, I let it air dry. When I air dry, I use this JVN Complete Air Dry Cream. This makes like my hair normally when I air dry it, it gets super frizzy and just not really nice. I air dried it with this in it and it made such a big difference. For my curling iron, I'm using this Hot Tools one and a half inch curling iron. I love it. Mine's literally broken. I'm not really gentle with any of my stuff. I only um, do my hair in two sections. I brush it through this Tangle Teaser brush with all my hair in it is a life-changing brush so what i do is i start at the top and i go down the entire length of the hair and i twist it at the bottom and i twist it underneath and i literally just roll it up this part really only curls the bottom it gives a little bit of movement to the middle of your hair but it really only curls the bottom it gives you more of that blown out look less of like a curled look because i didn't blow dry my hair i have a little bit of my natural waves in my hair so i'll just go through with my curling iron again curl under and then roll up you want all of the hair on this side of your head curled the same way curl it under and i always know it's ready by tip like when i feel it and i literally just do that all the way around my hair okay so i don't know what's going on but something really creepy happened to me the man working on the house next to me's backyard stopped me and he was like your umbrella flew off of your balcony so i Went to go put it back and it literally made no sense like this umbrella had to be because they were driving tractors like through my backyard because we don't have our fences yet. I really am convinced that they hit my, my umbrella with the tractor. There was just no way that this umbrella flew off. It's attached to my balcony and the attachments were still on the umbrella. The only way I can see this umbrella coming off and it falling off is if my entire balcony fell apart. That's not the weird part. So I was looking at my umbrella and then I look on my, my couch outside and there's this black thing and I was like, is that one of Leo's toys? Like, what is this black thing? It's a fucking bird. It's a bird that's dead on my lounge chair. A dead bird is laying on my lounge chair outside so i was panicking i was like this what does this mean how did this happen obviously birds can fly into windows and die like i've seen that happen but i didn't hear anything i didn't see anything i didn't see it when i was putting the balcony the, the umbrella back up so it literally had to happen like in a split second when i turned my head because I, I i was there i turned i came back there's a dead bird there's a dead bird on my balcony okay you think that's bad enough and it's a big bird like a big it's not a little bird it's a big bird so i turn around i look back there's two dead birds 
there's two dead birds on my balcony. One is laying on my couch and one is laying under my couch. I don't know what that means. I don't even know how that happens because, you know, when I saw the one bird, I was like, okay, it probably flew into the window, but two birds? I have so many questions and I was scared. I was like, what in the poltergeist is going on here? Because I think dead birds are probably a bad sign. I texted my best friend who was really into saging and stuff and I was like, please come and sage my house because I have dead birds everywhere. Lights are flying off, umbrellas are flying off. There's something going on here. As you guys can see, I literally just do the same thing with the top layer. Then I brush it out, very important to brush it out. And then I'll go through and see if some pieces need to be curled a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with a little of these shine drops. It's the weirdest thing, it's like a really lightweight oil but it just adds the prettiest shine to your hair but it's not like I said it's really not heavy and it smells so good I even rub it on my body and then that's it from the back when you're curling the front pieces of your your hair you want the first curl to be at your eye so ideally like in that area so it really lifts your face try it you will notice a difference and then this part kind of contours my face you see? Contour. So I'm trying to like walk you through my morning routine a little bit, I guess. So now I probably want to talk about my daily vitamin that I've been taking, which is Ritual. Ritual is a multivitamin. They have a bunch of different vitamins, prenatal vitamins, multivitamins for men. I obviously take the multivitamin for women. Here's the thing, okay? So I find it very hard for myself. I don't eat the most balanced diet. I'm just gonna say it out here, I really don't eat the most balanced diet. So for me, I feel like I just need to be taking a multivitamin every day to get the essential nutrients I need in my body. And with Ritual, it makes it so easy because because it is one vitamin that you need to take. You guys can see one vitamin in there. They contain nine essential nutrients that you need every single day, ranging from D3 to omega-3. They are vegan friendly, they are non-GMO, they are gluten free, they are allergen free, and they have no sugar added. Ritual is also extremely transparent with their entire process, from the research of their vitamins to where the nutrients are sourced. One thing you're going to notice is that these multivitamins smell amazing okay so I don't know about you but in the past I've taken I've taken multivitamins and they smell horrible and then all day I was like burping up this horrible <laughs> scent. They, these smell amazing. They smell like mint. They have a mint leaf in every single vitamin. Another thing is that they have a delayed capsule release so it's really going to be gentle on your stomach. It's not going to hurt your stomach and I keep them next to my sinks. The first thing I do when I wake up is brush my teeth. So it, it literally sits right on my counter next to my toothbrush and my toothpaste and it's the first thing I take in the morning. Because it has a delayed release capsule, I can take it on an empty stomach and it won't hurt my stomach at all. I love Ritual, I've been taking them every single day. I honestly think that every single person can benefit from taking a multivitamin because it's so hard to get the nutrients you need and you're helping your body by literally doing the smallest thing. So I have a coupon code for you guys. You can use the code TONY20 to get 20% off your first order. So your first month of multivitamins will be 20% off. Thank you once again, Ritual, for sponsoring today's video. They are my favorite multivitamin. I love that it's only one vitamin because I'm the laziest person in the world. I don't want to be sitting there taking a billion vitamins. I want to take one. And they're also really cool looking. Like, they're just super cool looking, which I find fun, you know, because I'm entertained by these little things. So, did my hair, took my vitamin. Um, on the daily, this is my makeup routine, okay? Are you guys ready for this? I take this Color Science SPF, which comes out clear. Uh, sorry, it comes out white. I literally just draw lines on my face. And then I rub it in. And you can see it changes to match my skin tone. I don't know if it changes to match my skin tone or if that's like on everyone it changes to the same color. I haven't looked into that yet. This has coverage. I would say honestly, this has a more than a light coverage. I would say light to medium. What I notice about this is that throughout the day, it just mushes into my skin and looks magical. So I blend that on. Then I go in with some concealer. This is the NARS concealer. I literally just pick it up on my beauty blender and I put a little bit under my eyes. SPF and the concealer blend together so nicely. Then I put on a cream blush. 
and I blend it in. And then I go in with some bronzer to add some body, body, bronziness and life to my face. Then I curl my eyelashes. This is my, I'm literally running out the door, going to the office look. Picking up some powder just to set my under eyes and my nose. Lip oil action. But I'm gonna go in with a little brow gel just to sweep something through that. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on my eyelashes just to make them nice and sh shiny and pretty. So I have three different levels of makeup. This is the bare 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 like i literally just want to even up my skin tone and then i have another level which is like i want to look put together still have some mascara and put some like a little you know bronzer in my crease which i can show you guys that look too that maybe takes like five to seven minutes whereas this took me literally two minutes and then i have my full on makeup look which i don't think i've showed you in a while so maybe i can film those two like my two minute my five minute and my 15 minute makeup look. Oh my God, this is the scene of the crime, you guys. That's where we found the two dead birds. I am going to turn on the Johnny Depp trial and <laughs> I'm going to have it on the background while I edit. Now I'm ready for my day. You know, if I have to run out, if I have to do anything, I'm ready. I feel put together and I'm always more productive. Okay, so I'm editing this in the future, obviously and that part was filmed after what i'm about to show you because i thought maybe some of you would only want to see like how i do my hair so i put it at the beginning so what you're about to see was actually filmed before so my sister actually got me the silk maple creamer which i've been looking for for literally months and I don't know where she found it. I think Metro. I have my coffee here. I only have hazelnut coffee left. So I hope the combination of hazelnut and maple is good. I have it foamed. I like a lot of creamer. Don't judge me. Mix it up. Silk coffee creamer is the best coffee creamer on the planet my sister came over and she wanted to do a swatch of one of the new polishes i was supposed to show you last night this, this is, is kelly, kelly green. green this a very trendy color mm -hmm. this polish this color is so popular is it normal right for now? it to be a little like yeah you just have to do a few coats and then, and then you pop it in and you can do it for like 60 seconds these are all the colors i'll go through and show you guys after but but this color i mean the first time i saw it i was like whoa it really grew on me. You guys kind of saw while my sister was here, we were going through all of the nail polishes that I got. So I bought, um, they're so sweet. I ordered two of them. I ordered Archive Beige, which is this one. Such a pretty beige. And I ordered Kelly Green, which is this one. And that's the one I'm gonna do on my nails so pretty such a popular color i order from them all the time i literally have probably 40 of their nail polishes they sent me the rest of their new collection so this one is toro sashimi so cute their marketing is so cute so this is cornflower blue also really pretty i might do that for grace jelly mango wasabi Barbara Pink, which is such a pretty pink. Polly Pink. Look how pretty this watermelon color is. So right now, I'm just giving myself a manicure. I'm gonna add tips on the nails that are really short. This hand's pretty good, but I miss having nice long nails. My nail stuff is a mess. I need to go through and clean it all. 
but I have a few videos on how I use builder gel to put tips on so I think I'm going to take the time and put tips at least on the really short nails because my nails are always breaking and I know I should just let them grow and get stronger but I don't think it's happening. I'm watching the new episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This season is going to be great. Also, this Yerba Mate, whatever this one is, is delicious. It's so good. And then my sister also brought me this truffle pasta sauce, which I think I'm going to make for dinner later because it's so... Honestly, today is the day where I feel like I should make a chili. <sighs> but I'm just not. Making a chili is so much work. And then I'm also left with about 12 pounds of chili. And... I can only eat so much chili. Oh, I also spent the morning planning my capsule wardrobe video. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Abercrombie because I wanted to have pieces that you guys can order. So hopefully that will come in in time. Nikki and I ordered from Base. Bayes? Um, oh, what's her name? She's so pretty. What's, who's the founder of Bayes? It's on the tip of my tongue. Shea Mitchell. So it's her brand. I'm going to Greece in July. And I'm only bringing a carry-on. I only travel with a carry-on. And so I told my sister and Nikki, because we're going all together, that you are only bringing a carry-on. Because we're not checking luggage. We have connecting flights like to the island. We are not checking a luggage. And with that connecting flight, like 50% of the time, your luggage doesn't make it on the plane. It's the smallest little scary plane. So I was like, we are doing a carry-on situation. And I wanted to order the Weekender bag because it apparently is like the Mary Poppins bag. It's the bag that you can fit so much in. So this is it. This is the Weekender bag, but this is the Weekender mini bag. I'm doing a whole Pack With Me capsule wardrobe video. So I'm going to do my review and give my actual thoughts on it in that video. It is such a cool bag. Like so many great features I love about it. So I got that. Shipping was really fast. They must have changed the shipping on their website because when I went to order a luggage, when I actually ended up getting my mom, Monos luggage the duties was like a hundred dollars and now they cover the duties from base and the shipping was free on orders over 200 so nikki was going to order this this is not mine this is nikki's this is the soft carry-on luggage which is so cool it has so many different compartments we put our orders together and we ended up getting free shipping and it came in literally two days what's great about this honestly it's so cute because the handle matches the weekender bag I love that. And then it also has a thing on it that keeps it attached to your carry-on. There's nothing worse than when your bag falls off your carry-on. So basically, going to Greece, this is all I'm going to carry. This will be my personal bag, and this will be my um, carry-on. This personal, that's why I got the mini weekender, because I wanted to be able to put it under the seat in front of me. This comes off, and it, you can use it either as a packing cube, or you could just leave it in your hotel. And then you can use this, I was thinking of using this as my beach bag, because it's a really nice linen material, and this big part comes off. So, really happy with that. Like I said, I have a Monos luggage, I like it. I don't love it. I think I might prefer my away luggage over the Monos luggage. Okay, I need to stop talking and go finish these nails. Okay, so I just got back from my sister's and okay, I have a face mask on. I'm wearing the frumpiest outfit, but I got some packages that I want to show, uh, show you guys. So the first is from Steve Madden. On Saturday when I was going out, I really wanted to wear an all black outfit. I was wearing my black leather Melina pants, which I actually chopped up and a black t-shirt and I really wanted to wear black shoes and all of my black shoes are pretty uncomfortable to wear not gonna lie so I ended up wearing my nude shoes which are so comfortable to wear and I was like I wonder if they have them in black and so lo and behold they have them in black these are the shoes that I bring up with me on vacation I wear them if I'm going out and I know I'm going to be standing a lot like these are my comfy shoes and they still look really cute these are my favorite shoes. The reason I like them so much, these are them. They're really flattering on your foot. They're high, but they're not too high where your foot's like literally like this, like my other heels. And the chunky heel makes it so easy to walk in. I could literally wear these all night. And they have a nice square toe, which is so popular. So these are like my comfy going out heels. I have them in nude, I have them in black, and I wear them literally the most out of all my heels. So then I placed an order from Dynamite. 
I couldn't control myself. Dynamite is like one of my favorite, favorite stores. Oh, I like the material. It's different than what I was expecting. Might be a little bit, I always say things are gonna be bigger than they fit perfectly. It's a top that looks like this. A black linen top, which not that I think I'm thinking of, but I actually already have a black linen top, but I got it as part of a set. And then these little black linen shorts for a cute little beach set. They're double lined, so they're not going to be see-through. Sometimes with linen, it could be a little bit see-through. A little bit of a different material than what I was expecting. This is the skirt. I got it in a size extra small. I love their dresses. I love their skirts. I honestly like this material better. It's a little bit more casual. And then I got this little top, which is gonna look so cute with a pair of jeans, shorts, like a little bra top. And lastly, I got these gray, linen-y feeling, casual pants which they might be a little bit too long. I thought with the, like literally just a cropped white shirt, like a loose shirt, a baseball hat, some chunky sneakers. I'll try that on eventually, or you know what, I'll probably try those on for a reel on Instagram. Just easier, and I'm definitely not trying that on now. Like look at me. I don't know where this day went. Oh, my nails, I didn't even show you. I don't know who I am with these green nails. Like, I don't know how to act. Not gonna lie, my nails took really long because I put tips on. I have a whole video on how I put tips. I went through a phase where I was doing no tips on my nails and it's just not the same vibe. I love this color, Kelly Green. I never thought I would be willingly putting green on my nails. Time to eat. I'm not really the hungriest, but that's good because if I wait till I'm starving, I eat like an animal. For dinner, I have rice cooking in my rice cooker. This is my favorite from Amazon. It was in my Amazon favorites video. And I add a little of um, chicken bouillon powder to my rice. And then in my air fryer, I have a chicken ref. Ideally, your chicken would not be frozen. Ooh. But I did not plan ahead. I know this looks disgusting, but trust me, We'll be adding more after, so once it cooks a little bit. I know it looks disgusting, but just trust me on this. And then I think I'm also gonna add a little bit of the Montreal Steak Spice. And I need to get a little shallot out of there. I'm gonna put some cheese. This is my favorite, favorite cheese. Okay, so the chicken is all cooked. I put the tomatoes, the onions, and the cheese on top, and now I'm just gonna cook it until the cheese melts. Chicken is all done. The rice, I like my rice a little bit softer like where it sticks together. And then I also have my beans, which I spiced up with a little bit of garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of soy sauce. They're so delicious. So that's what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight. This was like my go-to meal. I don't know why I ever stopped eating it. Planning my day for tomorrow, which I didn't do for today. And look, I was all over the place today. Every day I go through and plan what I have to do. I have to edit my videos for approval. I have one collab I have to get approved before I post. And then I have to film my Walmart video, which I am determined to film tomorrow because I wanna get that up on Sunday. That dinner was so good. Please, please try making it and then send me a picture on Instagram or write in the comments that you tried it. Italian dressing on chicken. chicken. I know I'm not reinventing the wheel here, but it is so good with the cheese on top and that rice adding that bouillon into the water mm. oh my god i can't wait to eat it tomorrow this pantry you guys i'm not your typical influencer let me just show you what this is looking like enough said doesn't bother me if everything's a mess as long as it's clean it used to bother me that's the thing. When I was younger, borderline OCD. My mom took me to take um, to a psychologist when I was younger because I would have to do these things before I, I went to bed, before I left the house, before I did anything. I used to, okay, I might sound crazy for telling you guys this, but at this point, like, who cares? Before I would go to bed, I would have to touch each part of my finger like this on every side and go under each nail. And go like this. 
I wish I was a little bit more organized. Sometimes I feel like my life is a mess because my house is a mess, my closet's a mess, my pantry's a mess. But here's the thing in the book I'm reading, you should never say that you are a certain way. Like, oh, I'm unorganized. Because I'm, I can change that. I don't like the fact that I'm disorganized, but I'm still not choosing to be organized. And I have gotten better about like being organized, putting my stuff away, especially in my kitchen. Let me know in the comments if you are the kind of person where you need everything to be in place, you need everything to be in order, or you don't really care. Let me know in the comments which kind of person you thought I was. Did you think, before I told you, did you think I was the kind of person that needed everything to be organized? Or did you think I was the kind of person that was a mess? Why did I get a fork? I also want to know, I'm giving you like a whole questionnaire to fill out in the comments. Do you like it better when I make it seem like everything's like not messy and everything's perfect? Because I can go back to that. Or do you prefer like the honest messiness? I don't know. I, I go back and forth whether I'm like people don't want to see you looking like that. People want, you know, like I go back and forth. I'm off to bed. I hope you have a wonderful sleep or a wonderful day, depending on when you watch this. I'm sitting here trying to hypothesize about what could have possibly killed the birds because I really just don't know. Been at the front of my mind since it happened. I'm happy to report that no birds have died on my watch since then. Make sure to check out Ritual down below. I will leave them linked. Don't forget to use the code TONY20 to get 20% off your first order. And yeah, other than that, I will leave all the nail polishes and everything I showed you guys, my curling iron and everything as per usual. And also let me know what videos you wanna see from me. Love you guys, I will see you in my next video.